for a long time we battled to have glass as a collectible um, item. People always thought of it as a, you know, a cheap item. But now I think the world is realizing that it is an art form and it is collectible. So the process is, is basically taking a metal rod or pipe, gathering glass on the end of it. The glass itself is kind of like the consistency of honey. And what it does, it collects on the end of that rod. You can then shape it in lots of different ways using different tools. Uh, and then you can blow down that rod and inflate the material that's on the end. Would say that all aspects of glass making requires a lot of uh, a lot of skill, a lot of training, uh, a lot of application and focus and concentration. Um, it's a material that you know re re requires you to to engage with it and to and to focus on it and to concentrate on what you're doing. So I think everything, every little every little detail, every little thing we make. Um, there's, there's, a, there's a high level of skill and craftsmanship gone into realising that object. Whether it's a simple stopper for a perfume bottle or whether it's an incredibly big, sophisticated, blown object. Uh, I think our customer base is very diverse. We have people from all over the world, um, obviously lots of local people. <clears throat> um, we ship all over the world. I don't think it, it would affect our customer base. I think if people were prepared to buy glass in America or Japan, they would be just as prepared to buy it in, in Europe. Um, I think it might make it a bit more challenging getting some of the products, but because some of them come from Germany. For me personally, um, working with an, uh, uh, an, another artist or designer who come to you with an idea uh, and they want to, for you to kind of execute that idea. And so that involves a lot of problem solving, a lot of thinking, can, can involve a lot of research and development. And, and often that's a way of learning new, 
skills and techniques and, and ways of thinking about the material that perhaps you, you wouldn't have done before.